Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Phil. Welcome to Phil's Computer Lab. And today we're looking at a interesting topic. The question keeps coming up, which is the better CPU? The top Pentium 2 or the slowest Pentium 3, both of which run at 450 megahertz. So in this video, we're gonna compare these specifications. There will be benchmarks in DOS and Windows. We'll check out PowerDraw and anything else that might help you make a decision. Hopefully we can come to a clear answer at the end of the video. And while we're doing that in the background, we've got some gameplay of Expendable. Here we've got a table of all these specifications and we can see that the Pentium 2 and the Pentium 3 are very similar. The front side bus, the multiplier, the clock speed, the cache, the voltage, that is all identical. What is different is the core. We've got the, the shoots for the Pentium 2 and the Katmai for the Pentium 3. The TDP is slightly different. The price at launch is also slightly different. And the main uh, difference really is the instruction set. The Pentium 2 only supports the MMX, whereas the Pentium 3 also supports the SSE instruction set. So let's dive straight into the benchmarks. I've done three benchmark runs for each of the tests just to rule out any outliners and get basically more confident data. So in 3D Bench 1.0C, we can see the Pentium 3 is a little bit in front. Same goes for Chris's 3D Bench. We can see the same happening in PC Player Benchmark. And also in Doom, the Pentium 3 pulls ahead. And the same goes for Quake, but here the lead is only one FPS. Once we increase the resolution to 640 by 480, the Pentium 2 is actually a little bit in front. The same goes for the PC player benchmark and we're seeing the same thing in Quake. Not sure what's going on there. Maybe there's something internally in the CPU core that makes the Pentium 2 a little bit faster with the 640 by 480 resolution in DOS. In Windows benchmarks, the trend continues in 3 Mark 2000, the Pentium 3 450 is a little bit in front. Same goes for incoming. We're talking around two FPS difference here. In expandable, we can also see a slight lead for the Pentium 3. Same goes for GL Quake and also in Quake 2. And I've also run Quake 2 in software render. We can also see the same uh, lead in the Pentium 3. Here we've got Quake 3. Pentium 3 is also faster. And in MDK 2, nothing has changed. The Pentium 3 is a little bit in front. A quick look at the test system we're using in this video. It is the same as in the other videos, the ABIT BH6 slot one motherboard, 256 megabytes of RAM. We've got a Quadro 2 Pro video card, a Turtle Beach Santa Cruz sound card, a 16 gigabyte SD card for storage and an ID DVD ROM drive. So to summarize it, the Pentium 3 is indeed the faster processor in most benchmarks, definitely in Windows and in DOS at 320x200. At DOS in 640x480, the Pentium 2 uh, edges out a tiny lead, but it's really not much. So the differences are measurable, but they're certainly not noticeable when gaming. Let's have a look at power draw. On paper, the Pentium 3 is meant to be a little bit more power efficient. However, under idle, I couldn't measure a difference. Same goes for playing Quake 2. Both machines pull 66 watts and the same thing goes for expandable. Same 66 watts of power draw. Let's go over the results for the Pentium 3 fans. Well, the Pentium 3 450 is definitely the faster CPU. However, if you're a Pentium 2 fan, well, while the Pentium 3 is faster, it is measurable, but not noticeable in games. The difference is really tiny. A couple of percent is the most you can see. In terms of power draw, there is no difference. So it all boils down to the uh, supported extensions. The Pentium 2 supports MMX, the Pentium 3 supports MMX and SSE. Now, SSE support means more software is supported. There are programs and probably games that don't run without SSE, and you might see better performance. However, none of this showed up in the benchmarks that I ran today. Now, last year, the conclusion would have been, well, I would go for the Pentium 3 because Steam needs SSE instruction set. However, that has changed. Steam now needs the SSE 2 instruction set. So neither of these CPUs will run Steam. You'd have to go for the Pentium 4. So in terms of performance, at least, it doesn't matter which CPU you pick. So you might have to come up with some other reasons to decide which processor is for you. Share your thoughts down below. Which CPU would you pick and why? And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, share the video, hit the like or the dislike button. And yeah, leave me a comment down below which CPU would you choose and why. I'll see you soon with another video.